Hi guys, welcome back. And I hope you had a fabulous week and we're here to help you out with your finances. And uh, guess what? Uh, what we're gonna talk about today is about um, how to eliminate a living paycheck to paycheck. That's a hot topic, right? When can, I mean, it's a very hot topic. Right. Most of us Americans, they live paycheck to paycheck, that's scary. And I think the statistics show closer to 80%, like 70 80% live uh, paycheck to paycheck, and most of them don't even have $1,000 in their savings. And uh, so do your math and figure out uh, if you're ahead of the uh, most of the Americans at this point. So we're going to help you out. We're going to give you some tips, uh, even with your existing income, sometimes with your existing income and sometimes with additional income, how you're going to eliminate living paycheck to, uh, paycheck to paycheck. And I'll just shoot the first one, budgeting. But it's not just budgeting, Venka, that we're going to talk about today. It's, it's actually, this point is about zero, uh, zero-based budgeting, right? So mm. just budget to the single dollar, you know? Budget to the single dollar so you can uh, uh, figure out how much that you waste. It may be for fast food. It may be for um, unused subscriptions. We have talked many times that most of the subscriptions that we have memberships and uh, you know for credit report or credit check subscriptions or whatever the subscriptions are so useless because there are so many places that you can get all those checks done for free so make sure you you do that you so when you do the zero based budgeting you can figure out every single penny every single uh, dollar that you spend and when you put it on a piece of paper or excel spreadsheet you can figure out those things and eliminate them just cut them off and uh, so then only you'll be able to see where the money is going. And we've done it ourselves and we have shared this in a different episode under a different topic. But uh, so we just wanted to share this with you also as um, a new, uh, a few, with a few new points and as well as, uh, as, a, as a reminder service. You know, if you have forgotten these points, make sure you do zero based budgeting, uh, which is meant uh, that which means you are budgeting to the dollar and anything to add when kid before i move on or uh no no yeah i think that's good like for me I, what i normally see that three things right income whatever is coming in and then expenses whatever going out and then what is left over the savings right that's kind of a three things just a broad picture and if you right. can manage those three things you have to Absolutely. increase your income yeah. Reduce your expenses and right. increase your savings. Absolutely. Simple. Theory. I think it's about changing your mindset about savings and it's about changing your mindset about managing finances. Like you said, the three things. Um, and, and also, uh, you know, we, at, at the very start, I said either this, these are some points that you can do with your existing income, but at the same time, you can have some additional income while you're sitting uh, sitting at home or even, uh, you know, sleeping, you know, we talked about investing, you know, you earn money while you Lighters. sleep, yeah, right? <laughs> and, and, and those are, those are different topics, but investing is, is, is a great, um, great option to earn extra income. We shared, we discussed a lot of options in different episodes. Feel free to, um, listen to them, but also if you want to get out of the house and, you know, do some side hustles, uh, you know, with these days, uh, it, it's so modern and, uh, you know, someone who does a regular nine to five job, you can drive Uber, you can drive Insta, you can be an Instacart driver, Instacart shopper. You can do so many things like that. Even uh, do some overtime if your um, if, if, if your employ if, if your employer uh, loves that, uh, you know, a couple of, couple of hours here and there, it doesn't hurt. I know, you know, you might want to go back to your family, you know, right after five, but if it's a loved, just give it a shot and see. Um, I've done it myself. I bought my first car by doing um, uh, uh, overtime. Hmm. And it was not a fancy car, but still, you know, you can improve your um, way of living by doing a little bit of overtime. And also make sure if you earn more, whether it's Uber, whether it's Instacart, uh, overtime, make sure you have a separate account for emergency funds, right? When can, I mean, you know, hmm. like we said, most right. of the Americans, uh, either they don't save at all or um, they don't save enough for emergencies. And at least, I would say, at least have a um, thousand. You know, it's, it's better than having nothing, of course. Right. You know, most of but these days, uh, you probably need to have maybe $5,000, $10,000. At least start with somewhere, right? At least start right. with somewhere. Start from what, uh, what, what we said um, 
uh, about zero based budgeting and you can just allocate some because this is not a like a this doesn't happen overnight right and no, you also you don't to need to like thousand dollar you cannot do it on time right you can do a hundred dollar a month just just make it two thousand two thousand whatever easy peasy exactly and uh, there's this famous theory from my uh, taekwondo master he always says it's plus one theory every day you add one uh, one thing like it could be on the treadmill you run on the treadmill for one minute next day do it do do two minutes next day you do three minutes just like that uh, you do the same thing you apply the same plus one theory uh, on your savings as well like exactly what you say it doesn't have to be thousand right away you and some people to... actually put it in a like thousand dollar in a container that you cannot open it you cannot open um, it, yeah. and just leave it in a place that you know closed place in yeah. your home that way uh, like it's there uh, you, you cannot open it easily but you have right. to go multiple steps to open it yeah so make it hard so basically <laughs> make, it, make it hard to open and you will use it only when uh, there is an emergency good point you know make sure it's secure and uh, you know hard to open uh, and you know there's some process procedure involved uh, to open it and and also um, you know we're in a like I said it's so modern and we cannot sometimes differentiate uh, needs and wants right uh, and ensure that you understand what you really need you know what your basic needs are and you know you cannot complain by saying that you know I don't have in I, I live on paycheck to paycheck if you spend more than what you earn right so be so because of that make sure that um, you understand what your basic needs are you met you meet your basic needs and uh, and separate out the savings and put put everything else on the on the savings side and also what I what I realize and what I've done myself is what I want to share and I've shared this before make sure you save first hmm. make sure you save first and then do your expenses and also some uh, employers they do uh, like from your employment from from your paycheck sometimes you know they can automatically send a portion uh, to a different account it could be savings it could be an investment account i believe uh, that i'm not quite sure but at least you can separate out your you know you can send 20 percent or whatever uh, percentage to a different account that you don't touch so make sure you have the discipline it's you know like i said it's a mindset you know have a goal like you know make sure that you have the determination uh, to do that you have that goal in mind otherwise you would always you know online transactions are so easy you, it's a matter of clicking a button that you you can transfer money easily make sure you keep you you have the discipline so you wouldn't transfer money back and forth between checking and saving so what i suggest is save first before you spend anything to add Venkat? right yeah th this yeah that's a good point actually uh, i have something different like you know like take care of your income like like three things we talked about right uh, so when you, whatever coming in, right, whatever coming in every, every time, every year have a goal at it. Like, you know, you should, you should have another job or you should have promoted in within your job to get 10%, 20% raise. Right? Mm -hmm. Uh, so what, what happens is that's how you, you hustle. You need to hustle. Like, think about, do you want to be like five years ago? Do you want to continue the same story uh, every year uh, going forward? The life is not going to you know, uh, be same. Right. Like, you will have a lot of illness and right. you have to pay a lot of medical bill, right? Yeah. All those things are going to come, right, in the future when you become older. So just just to stabilize your income, right? That is the main thing. Uh, then you can kind of control everything. Everything else is in your control, right? Income is kind of, you have to talk to somebody else. You have to approach like, it doesn't come that from you. Income doesn't come from you, but income comes from somebody else, right. third party, right? Yeah. So stabilize that one. You should be able to control yourself on the saving side, on the expenses side. That's that's in your control. And and also, what will be really helpful is with all that, you know, having a having a supportive partner. Uh, you know, if you're yeah. um, even if you're single, you know, it doesn't have to be. You know, you don't have to be married or you know living with a like accountability partner. partner. Uh, sorry, what's that? Like accountability partner. Accountability right? partner. That's 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 exactly what it is. Accountability partner. You know, sometimes we we call them a uh, partner in crime too. But <laughs> right. you know, accountability right. partner. Gym, like if you don't go to gym, like sometimes you don't go to gym, right? If you have another partner. Exactly. Partner, you go to gym.
exactly we've all we've both been there you know uh, and been so lucky uh, to have that partner uh, with, with us so make sure if, if, you know sometimes you know when you're when you're doing something over and over again sometimes you either lose lose motivation sometimes you feel like you know it's the same thing over and over again or even you lose track for so many different distractions right but so because that you have to have that accountability partner with you to put you back on the track and uh, you know go for your goal um, really you know I just I, I think uh, I hit most of the points that I, I wanted to share with you and I hope you uh, learn something new or uh, you, 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 if you have forgotten certain points, I hope that this, uh, became, uh, this kind of, uh, you, you will be able to use this as a reminder service. Um, and that's pretty much it from my end, Ankit, unless you have anything. Any I just want to add one thing on the expenses side, right? Yeah. On the expenses side, like basically think about the largest expense, right? Shoot for the largest one. If you can make it down, like largest one is being like a home mortgage, right? Or right. rent if you're renting a house, right? Can you can you just compromise one or two years? Um, just just live in a poor place. That's okay, right? Nobody care. Like just just adjust yourself, your family. Right. Just live. Uh, maybe find a dollar less. Uh, you know, if you can save that, that's going to yeah. add up a lot. That's a good. And point. another one is a food. Like major expenses being like food, transportation, and home expense, right? Those three. Uh, and entertainment sometimes, right? Mm -hmm. It comes entertainment. So those four, if you can uh, control, just live like, uh, you know, you don't have any money at all. Even if you have lots of money, think about, you know, you can actually look at some of the millionaires. They, you don't believe them if they see them, right? They just, yeah. like, like Mark Zuckerberg, right? He always wears the same t-shirt. Right. And he's a billionaire, right? Uh, he doesn't have, that's probably like, 150 bucks that's it whole whole whatever is he doesn't have a watch expensive watch, nothing like that right look at all these guys yeah. and just learn from them and just live a few years just few years compromise and then you should be able to you know live yeah no life. absolutely you know it's short-term sacrifice for long-term betterment uh right. simple as that thank you so much for adding that final point Venkat. and like i said hope you enjoyed it and uh, until next time it's goodbye from us Thank you guys for watching. Thank you.